Hello guys, welcome to the channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing the tips, tricks, hidden features and settings soccer video of the OnePlus 11 and this is the 16GB 256GB variant of OnePlus 11 in the eternal green color. So guys, let's get started. So guys, as you guys can see the phone is locked right now and I'm just throwing an apparel over here, simply an apparel and as for my fingerprint and you can see instantly the chrome appears. Again, I'm locking my phone, I'm drawing an O over here, just a simple O and you can see instantly it opens the camera again i just locked and i drawing an m over here now what happens is it opens the youtube so you can see instantly whenever i just try to draw a gesture away instantly it's open an application so it's w and you can see it's the photos so how to set it up so first of all just go to settings and over here you can see an option called id settings over here you can see gestures and motions and start off from the screen of gestures and these are the options which I have enabled. You can see draw apparel is assigned to Chrome, launch M is assigned to YouTube, draw W is assigned to photos. How to set it up? So usually it would be turned off like this. You should first of all you just make sure you turned these three of them on and you can just tap over here draw apparel and it can be assigned to either unlock, call or open an app. So all the installed application would be listed over here and select whichever app you needed and instantly you can go. It's so easy. And apart from that, you can draw O to open camera, draw V to turn on flashlight, just draw a simple V log like here to turn on the flashlight. So, so is, let me turn off the flashlight. Okay. And music controls also double tap to wake or turn off the screen is also available from that. Uh, lock screen itself and music controls can be also available over here so that's is really good and then how to take a screenshot just a three finger swipe down is uh, for the screenshot so that's it's simple okay and how to take a partial screenshot that means if you need to share from this portion to this portion only and this portion contains some of your confidential data how to do that so you need to just press and hold with your three fingers so that a draggable area appears and just drag the area which you need that's it simple and if you not something down like this you should just tap over here and you can select select any of the pen which you like and just this is not a note e note done and just save so instantly this would be saved in your photos you can see see perfect screenshot so that's really cool almost like an s pen feature like this okay so next is the air gestures. So just give a tap over here and you can see it can be answer or uh, mute your coins with just a palm swipe like this. So you can turn on like this to answer or mute call. So it is really easy, but actually sometimes it may take time or I just, uh, just skipping for the moment for right now. And next is a raise to wake. That means when your phone is lying down like this, whenever you raise your phone inside it would turn on like this. Okay, and along with this race to week, I would tell you an additional feature. So first of all, go to settings and then go to your password security and enable the face unlock. So this would be the easiest way to unlock your phone and enroll, enroll your face. So let me enroll your face really quick. So I just enroll and I just click done and you can see enter home screen after unlocking. I just turn on this. So I just turned on race to week. Then I just added my face data and enter the home screen after unlocking. Are we excited to see the magic? So I'm not pressing any of the buttons. I'm just picking up my phone like this and instantly you can see instantly went to the home screen. What happens is raise to wake is turned on. So whenever you pick up the phone, instantly the phone wakes up. Then uh, face unlock was turned on and enter uh, home screen directly after unlocking was turned on. So these two, three features combines and instantly went to the home screen. So let us go back. So next is lift it to ear to answer calls. That means whenever you are receiving an incoming call, just take your phone to the ear instantly or uh, the answers the call. So that is the lift it to ear to answer calls. Then auto switch to receive. That means if you are whenever you are in the speaker and some you are talking to someone and instantly an unknown person comes in and just take your phone to ear, it automatically to switch to the earpiece. Okay, and next flip to mute incoming calls. Whenever you're receiving incoming call, just flip your phone and instantly the phone would be muted. So these were the settings which is available on the gestures and motions. Okay, and now go back. So this where we are covered right now and next is regarding the one handed mode which is so easy. So just turn on one handed mode and just give a simple swipe down over here. See that's it once again. See it's really convenient. See with one hand you can uh, use make use of all functions. So that is really convenient. So that's the one handed mode and along with that you can see that I'm using in gesture navigation over here not the button navigation. So how to set it up. So go to the system navigation and tap the gestures your default would be the buttons or you can set it up in the initial setup itself to the gestures itself and you can have two types of layout that means in the orientation and if you tap the gestures 
it really is and you can see hide the gesture guide view now you can see it is a fully immersive screen no gesture guide bar is here if i just disable this feature you can see a gesture guide bar would be here and if i enable it will be completely hidden and the most exciting part is just swipe up for the home and you can see if i just want to go back just a right swipe like this or a left swipe instantly and if you want to go to reason just swipe up and stop at the middle but the best part is switching between the reasons apps like you are scrolling through the photos in the gallery you can just do like see Ooh. so you would love it see it's really convenient and easy no need of going to the reasons and then selecting the app and then selecting again going to the reasons no that's simple see okay so make sure you enable the gesture emotions so within one day you would be really com uh, comfortable with this one and next is switch to previous app that means if you want to switch between one just one app suppose if uh, you can see uh, on the left it is youtube and on the right it is settings so if i just turn on switch to previous app, what happens is if i just just press and hold like this you can see a youtube icon appears if i leave youtube would be appear and if i again hold it would be go back to settings settings youtube see it would switch between three apps really convenient no need of either this swipe or no need of going to this app so but actually i don't feel even because this is this is already here but if you are using you can have a shortcut also okay so that was it uh, regarding uh, the system navigation over here and now next is assistive wall assistive wall is like assistive touch as you seen on the iphones okay let me turn on i will show you how is this is the guy assistive touch so you can see a ball over here see this is the ball and if we can assign to two set of functions either we can assign to gesture operations or tap menu so if this is currently assigned to gesture operations so what happens is tap it would be go back double tap it would be go to reasons touch and hold it would be go to home screen and you can reassign to few of the others like uh, notification drawer one hand and more take a screenshot so let me assign tap to screenshot and double tap to recent task so what happens is just tap see screenshot and double tap you can see it would go into reasons okay so that is uh what i genuinely i didn't feel really convenient the reason is just closing this guy and you can see an edge panel over here that is a smart sidebar this is the favorite feature in this uh phone for me because just turn on the smart sidebar and you can see a draggable area appears and you can see just you can click edit you can select whichever your favorite shortcuts and whichever your favorite app or apps to this section and it can contain really good amount of apps over here so you can see i am adding see and i am clicking done and the best part is if you are in uh, some random apps like uh, play store and you can doing some stuff over here and instantly you need to go to some other application just give a swipe over here and you can see all the apps will be listed over here and the best part is whenever you open this app it won't interrupt this screen it will be open as a small pop-up pow simple okay so that was really convenient for me and this is one of my favorite feature on this oxynoise i really love that and you can see really smooth and bar free and calculator and next is the special features we have already covered the smart sidebar out of excitement and now we are going to split screen as you already know that's three finger swipe down a screenshot and if you are in chrome or some applications just give a three finger swipe up you can instantly open the other application so same time you can open this as well as this guy you can see see that is really convenient opening the two apps at the same time with just a three finger swipe up okay so that was the split screen and next is flexible windows that is like a small pop-up window over here so you can make sure of using that one too and next another one of my favorite feature is the quick launch so that means you can assign it to five applications so let me tap over here and let me assign to few applications or functions so let me assign to some random apps okay as you guys can see this is the quick launch and i have assigned the five functions now what happens is i'm just locking my phone and unlocking with my fingerprint and i'm leaving my finger over here that makes me to enable any of those five functions at least so let me leave my finger on the calculator and you can see instantly so this is a 60 gb ram variant. how to make it 28 gb ram variant so just go to open device and tap on the ram and you can see expand by and just extend to the 12 gb and now you can see uh, 16 GB internal RAM plus 12 GB extension that effectively makes you 
128GB RAM on this OnePlus 11. Okay, so that is uh, the RAM expansion. But make sure that this would be using your uh, internal. That means out of this, if you are enabling this 12GB, it would be using that 12GB from your internal to fix to 56GB. So if your storage is important for you, just keep it on the default settings at all. Or if you want to enable the full currently by default, it will be using just your 4GB from your internal storage. And if you want to completely disable, just turn off this, then your 4GB also would be added to the uh, internal storage. Okay. And next is the app lock, app hide and all. So just go to the password security and you can have an option called privacy password. So currently I'm drawing a pattern over here and this would be my pattern and it's done and it would be asking for a question. So I just uh, randomly answers this one and you can see app lock, app hide and private safe. So let me turn on the app lock at first and uh, you can see you can just first of all you need to turn on app lock and i am uh, logging the chrome for the moment right now so turn on the chrome and you can see app lock use fingerprint or face unlock for this app so i am directly use and now what happens is i am opening the chrome you can see it asks either for my face or my fingerprint so it the face unlock it's opened and now the weather next time i open you can see it unlocks without any of my fingerprint face or my pattern so how to disable that that means each and every time when you opening the chrome it would it should be locked so go to your uh, app lock and you can see a settings icon over here just tap over here and you can see lock app when so it is currently on the locking screen you should make sure you it, it is on exiting the app so each and every time while you exit the app so currently i am exiting this app so you can see ask one time second time opening again lock so that is really convenient so that is the app lock and next is the hide app how to hide it so it can be accessed with a secret code or you can set it as access code just open up your data and type your pin with starting with hash and ending with hash i will show you how to set it up so, so just tap setup so if i am hiding the chrome itself so just chrome and you can tap the settings over here so if my pattern is 1111 then how should i start with a hash type my pin 1111 end with a hash done so my pin is 1111 so i am just click done so we have hidden the chrome you can see chrome is not available over here now how to access it just go to the dialer sorry let's go to the dialer and type your pin starting with hash and ending with hash hash your pin 1111 hash see your hidden apps will be here so that is really convenient okay so that was the hide apps and next is a private safe private safe is almost like a secure vault or something like that you can show hide your photos videos and all so you can i just got it and it will be also asking either to use your fingerprint scanner or face recognition so use and you can see images and videos you can just tap on the plus icon and images from here so i am just uh, typing the screenshot which you have done in the partial mode so and you can see an option code set as private so i am setting it as private it's done now this would be completely gone from the gallery and now it is only available whether you need to go to the private safe and you can see now it's available so and if you want to set it as back to public then set it back to public and select the location and it's done so you can see completely and you can also same way you can also hide audio documents and other files Next is app cloner. So it is in the app section. So just settings apps and you need to turn on this app cloner over here and all the install. So actually this is just, uh, I didn't install any of the third party apps or download from the Play Store. So all the listed apps will be WhatsApp one, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook would be appear over here. Just turn on which are the applications you need two of them. That means two WhatsApp or two Facebook or two Instagram. So just turn on. So the app clone would be created. So that is really easy. And the next thing which I will share you is the notification system. That means if someone sends you a WhatsApp message to your phone and uh, after a few minutes or some seconds after even it received on your phone they deleted that message for everyone that means once the message arrived on your phone but even before you reading uh, that message was deleted then how to access such kind of messages the thing you should notice message should once receive on the phone then they should be uh, deleted for everyone so you need to go to the notification and status bar and you can see a more settings option over here so tap on the more settings and you can see an option called notification history so just turn on that now what happens is each and every notification which arrived on the server with the timestamp would be saved over here. So even if you cleared by mistake or even if they did it for someone, even the notification, whichever notifications are arrived on your notification panel would be completely displayed over here. Even they deleted or you deleted. Okay. Or you cleared. Okay. So that is also really convenient one. Okay. 
and now you can see the battery percentage is over here so if you want and like the battery percentage just go to the status bar and just hide that and if you want the real-time network so that means how much mbps downloading is occurring how much mbps uploading so you need to turn on the real-time network switch so now it will be showing the uploading speed as well as downloading speed and all so that is also really convenient okay now next is regarding the display so this is a quad hd display and you can see just go to your screen resolution and you can see it is by default it is on full hd so make sure you just go to the quad hd plus and you can see this may lead to higher power consumption and device temperature anyways just turn on you are buying a, a premium segment phone then you should use it within this magazine and if your battery is more important for you just use it on the uh, full hd plus okay or you can also set to auto select based on your content it would be automatically adjust but it your personal preference is that which one i do recommend keeping it on the quad hd plus and next is regarding the screen resolution sorry screen refresh rate you can see two options is 60 hertz is a standard refresh rate and high is a 120 refresh rate and now a uh, few of the other options like image sharpener you can see it would be enhanced low quality events and videos so you should turn on that one and then video cutter enhancer that means from the standard dynamic range it would be enhanced to the hdr range so next is the bright hdr video mode as you guys can see so just turn on so when you are playing the hdr video hdr videos it would be enhanced your brightness and all and apart from that we have few options like natural tone display automatically adjust the color temperature according to ambulance so based on the light available on the road it would be automatically adjusted so it's, it would be it is really cool and along with that eye comfort mode so whenever you are using a phone in the night in your room without any light so you should turn on this one because it is almost like a blue light filter so that would give less strain to your eyes and all so that's it regarding the uh, what we call uh display and brightness and now next is regarding the uh, what we call home screen settings and all and now you can see Whenever I just I need to open the notification panel, what happens is, so if I just give it a drag down like this, you can see some shelf, one plus shelf appears. See, one plus shelf appears. How to set it up to the favorite feature, that's the notification drawer. So again, go to the home screen settings and you can see swipe down on home screen, tap and change to notification drawer. So whenever you are using your phone with one hand, just give a swipe down instantly, you can see the notification panel appear so that is really convenient okay this is task manager so currently you can see the ram information is not available so just go to the display ram information and now you can see sorry and now you can see 9.44 gb available out of 16 plus 420 gb so next is regarding the wallpaper and style that means starting off from the always on display so just tap the always on display so here is the styles for the always on display and here is the more display settings whether you can see display options so currently i would uh, set it up to the power setting for the better battery backup and all also you can set to schedule from time to time or you can set it all day so if you set to power saving then when you're whenever your phone is stationary for a while then it will be automatically the always on display will be turned off so that is really convenient and in, in info you can if you don't need the time just disable that you don't need a day just disable that you can have don't need the battery you can just disable that but these are really convenient so i just make sure you use it within the default settings itself and then we have the themes you can download from your theme store and all and then apart from that we have the phone styles and our roboto science one plus science and more options are available then phone size is also available over here okay i would set it on the default i really like that and we have the icon customization the icon styles whichever you like but i do like on the default settings and then we have the icon sizes and all and then we have the app name sizes and all so we have a few of the customizations over here and then we have the colors for this you can see currently it's on the blue i can assign to custom color based on your personal preference. so if i just click green and done you can see now it is on the green so it's on your personal preference and uh, we can see few more customizations and based on your wallpaper it can also choose color you can have an option called wallpaper color picking so you can make sure you can use that too and then apart from that it is a quick settings and you can see currently it's on rounded and you can change to square rhombus and circle it's your personal preference. and then we have the fingerprint animation over here so you can see tons of animation that means you can adjust your or you can just click none for no animation but i would prefer this uh strive for just now okay or the cosmos would be really nice cosmos is yeah it's obviously it's nice now next is the edge lightning that means whenever you're seeing some incoming notifications uh it would be edge lightning and this curved display would be really good for that so i would be either you can just have this gold color or this blue color would be fine red is just okay so it's based on your performance i would prefer either the blue or the gold color okay so that was it 
it regarding the settings now let's quickly go to the camera settings i will you show you so this is the night mode is available and with the tripod options and all and we then we have the video mode we are we are getting the ultra steady pro option which is shoots in one zero eight zero p at 60 fps you can see one zero eight zero p at 60 fps supported fps and we have the ae mode over here and let's check the maximum resolution so we can shoot at 8k also so that is also available then we have the photo mode we have also a then we have the cast filters option is also available you can see filter options uh, and then you have the portrait mode which makes use of the Hasselblad uh, color tuning and all and then we have the more mode which have the pro mode panoramic mode uh, film mode see so you can adjust from over here so that would be really nice and then apart from that we have the slow motion time lapse long exposure dual view video which record front and back at the same time and we have the tilt shift and expand okay so these were the quick tips tricks hidden features and settings for video of the oneplus 11 so guys that's it for today signing off it's for mania